راحت کے دل پائے وہ مسکن ہے خلافت کا جہاں راحت کے دل پائے السلام علیکم and welcome to this week with Huzul. Hadrat Khalifatul Masih, may Allah be his helper, spent approximately an hour with Indonesia's Waqfinur last Saturday. Here at MTA International, it is our honor to present selected highlights from this virtual event. Hazrat Khalifatul Masih V, may Allah be his helper, held a virtual online meeting with 50 male members of the Waqfinur scheme from Indonesia on Saturday. The event started with a recitation of the Holy Quran, followed by translation and a poem. Presentations followed, the first being on the role of Vakfano in Jamaat e Ahmadiyya, Indonesia. Jamaat Ahmadiyya, Indonesia itself has several programs and strategies to expedite the progress of Tablik Ilawlah. Starting January 2021, a new Jamia building and a new MTS studio is being built in Marcos. Furthermore, there will also be a new hospital initiated by Humanity Force. By all means, every Wakfini now should support those initiatives and projects. As mentioned by Hazrat Khalifat al-Masih Ayodat Ta'ala bin Nasriul Aziz on Friday sermon 28 October 2016. Later, a report on the Wakfino scheme and a video presentation followed. The final part of the program was devoted to a series of questions and answers. Uh, would uh, Huzur like to give us blessed uh, guidance on how to uh, uh, maintain the bond of marriage, especially for newly uh, married couple? Acha, mashallah. So, your physique shows your wife cooks very good food. Eh? <laughs> so, whenever she gives you good food, then you should praise her, right? Yes, sir. Always think that you have to set example before her. And always think that if the relation between husband and wife are not good, then your children will also suffer. And in this way, you will be destroying the future of the new Ahmadi generation. Right? So, Jehuzu, the yes. best way is that the man or the husband should set his good examples in the house and always be polite and kind to your wife and children. Right? And then if you behave like this, then there will not be any trouble in your house. As you might already know, the impact of climate change has been felt throughout the world uh, and it's getting severe more than ever. So my question is, what is your opinion regarding the current situation of, of the climate change and how should we um, try to address the issue? You see, this climate change problem is the issue everywhere all across the world. And especially in the third world countries, where the population is increasing in numbers without any proportion. Just to accommodate this population, you are increasing your residential areas. And because of increasing the residential areas, you are cutting the forest. So this deforestation is also causing climate change. So 
whenever you cut any tree, you should plant two trees to replace that tree. And whenever your population is increasing, you should also increase in that area where there is already some clear area, not that you do deforestation. And apart from that, fuel consumption should also be reduced. Now we have become so lazy that if we want to go from one place to the other place and the distance is only 100 yards or 200 yards, instead of walking to the place, we shall take our motorbike or the car to go to that place, right? And in this way also you are polluting the atmosphere. And there are so many other factors which are causing pollution and climate change. Although we cannot say that because of the fear of uh, climate change we should not produce children or do family planning, no. But at the same time we should plan in such a way that the forest should not be cut without any proportion. If you cut one tree, you plant two trees, start new developments, residential developments in those areas which are near to the town and the, the big villages so that the forests are not disturbed. And at the same time, use less such type of vehicles which are being run by fuels and making pollution in the atmosphere. And apart from that, if God wishes that he has to reduce the population of this world, then the law of nature will also work. So, if you are using motorbike, don't use it too much. If you are using car, don't use it too much. Eh? It would be better if you walk even up to one mile distance. Doesn't matter. Right? And also, Khudamul Amdiya and Wakfin and all should start a scheme for the plantation of the trees in the forests and in different areas, right? And in Indonesia also, because of the climate change, the, the level of the sea is increasing. And Jakarta is now sinking. There are quite a number of places where your buildings even are sinking. And it is said that after some time, after a few years, you would not be able to see Jakarta on the face of the earth, eh? right? It is not only because Indonesian people are not vigilant with regards to take Myers for the betterment of the climate. You see, it's a global issue. So in the North Pole, South Pole, everywhere, it is happening. We can also pray and also try our best to reduce this climate change, right? Uh -huh. Assalamu alaikum, beloved Hazur. Uh, my name is Manzur Danish Ahmed. Uh, from some documentaries, I learned that uh, prior Khilafat, Huzur was a person that doesn't like to be the center of attention. So my question is, uh, how did Huzur manage to adapt the change after becoming Khalifa? I don't know myself. It is Allah who has changed me. Right? That's enough. <laughs> <laughs>